We're on the lake today catching a whole mess of yellow perch and I'm gonna show you how to deep fry fish so that you can get the perfect fish and chips. So step number one is real simple. You gotta clean the fish. The next thing we have to do here is get our oil heated up. Now, what I'm trying to do is get our oil to exactly 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And what that'll do is allow us to get a really good crispy fish. The best way to do that is to make sure that you have some sort of thermometer. So I just use a candy thermometer. This will allow me to be able to see exactly how hot my oil is. So I'm just using a 100% pure canola oil. This has a really neutral flavor to it. But the cool part about this as well is that it has a really high smoke point. So you can bring it up to that 375 degree temperature without any issues. It's not going to burn on you. And it's probably the most perfect oil for that. All right, so as the oil is heating up, we can start to chop our French fries. And I just have like whole russet potatoes here. These are the perfect uh, potatoes to use russets for um, French fries and we're gonna cut them into fingers and get them ready for the grease. Again, this is a really important part in having a thermometer is so that you can watch the temperature of the oil when you add your potatoes in. I'm gonna start adding the french fries in and the oil temperature is going to drop. So I don't want that to really drop below 350. If I see that it's dropping, I'll turn up the gas a little bit and get more heat to this so that the oil maintains that 375 temperature. And potatoes are going in. Okay, so these fries are starting to look nice and brown. And what we're gonna do now is to accomplish one of the classic tricks to getting super crispy fries is we're going to double fry. So we're going to take them out. I'm just gonna put them all in one basket right now. And we're going to let this cool off for just a few minutes and get that oil back up to temperature at a nice 375. And once they've had a few minutes to cool, we'll put them back into the oil and that will get them extra crispy until they're just a little bit of a darker brown and we'll add some salt and they'll be done. We call that the double fry. So as you can see right now, the fries are a little bit floppy still. They haven't had that opportunity to get really crisp and they're ready now. The oil is back up to temperature and they're ready to go back in and get really nice and crispy. All right, so these potatoes have been double fried and they're looking nice and brown and crispy. So all I'm doing is just shaking off the excess oil and while they are still nice and piping hot, we're gonna hit them with salt. That salt's gonna stick to them and give them that extra awesome flavor. So I've got some Himalayan salt and that is going on right now. All right, now we're getting into the fish portion of the program and I've got my fish fillets really cleaned up here and they're sitting in a bit of water. And what I wanna make sure that I do is have those fillets really wet so that when they go into the flour mixture, the a lot of the coating actually sticks onto the fish rather than a dry fillet and not having as much coating on there. The more coating we have when it goes into the fryer, the crispier that coating is going to be on our fish. All right, so we've got our fish batter going on the plate and we've got our wet filet going into the dry mix. And if you see, there's actually a lot of coating that wants to stick to that, which is just perfect. So now that the fish has absorbed all of that coating, I'm just going to take it, and this is one of my favorite things to do, is just dip it back into the water. And you can see that it's wet, not a lot, not a lot of the coating has come off, and I'm going back into the coating mix. What that's doing is just building up the layers of coating so that we have an extra crispy layer when that gets deep fried and that has that really nice crispy coating on it now. All right, we've got our coated perch fillets and we're just going to feather these gently into the hot oil. So our fish is looking done, it's nice and crispy and the biggest trick for making sure that this maintains its crispiness is to put it on a wire rack. I see so often people are taking their fried fish and putting it on a napkin or a piece of paper towel and what that does is it just creates a moist environment for that fish and it steams it a little bit and you lose that crispiness. So take this and put it on a wire rack for just a couple of minutes once it's come out of the fr fryer and you'll be able to maintain a nice crispy piece of fish uh, for when you start eating it. 
We've got our double fried French fries and we've got our nice and crispy perch fillets and these are ready to dig into and enjoy. So this is something easy to make outside or at home. I like to enjoy it sometimes with a squeeze of lemon or a nice shot of sriracha hot sauce. Get a little bit on there, give it a bite. It's just so hot, fresh, crunchy. I'm a happy man. For more information on the perfect fish and chips, check the blog post link below.